Middle East a money drain. No matter how much we send over there, it'll always be the same. We gotta spend that money over here at home. So just ignore the region altogether. Tell me, Miss Dawn, what do you think? Is there a chance for peace in the Mideast? Um, I think the chances are about as good as getting a Democrat back in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> well, after all the problems the president's had recently, he doesn't have much clout to do anything anyway. It makes you wonder if a parliamentary system isn't better. But I think we should keep a strong presence over there, don't you? Well, here's what I have to say. Who elected the Washington Post King of the Universe? That's what I'd like to know. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry, what did you say? Uh, I, I say, do you think we should keep an active presence over there? Oh, forgive me, how silly. I thought you said, um, well, anyway, okay. Active presence, yeah. Well, <clears throat> call me old-fashioned. I know we can't be the policemen of the world, but until we get another cop on the beat, we have an obligation to support our friends. After all, being a superpower has its price. <laughs> She's right. Mm. Still a dangerous world. Yes, but what about the Palestinians? Yes, what about the Palestinians? Yeah, what about the Palestinians? I don't think even Abe Lincoln himself could solve that one. But let's say you're president. Yeah, let's say you was president. What would you do? It's simple. If the UN would remove the Berner Amendment from Resolution 165, we'd have the authority to do what needs to be done. <laughs> Can I get anyone anything? I'd love a drink. Isn't she terrific? Oh, cool. Hell, I'm knocked out. She's right about the Werner Amendment. Oh, absolutely. Mm.